What? <laughs> oh, wait, I can't say hell anymore. Uh, I, 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 I typed an email last week and I put the word hell in there. So Gordon Ramsay, you better change your restaurant name. I'm telling you right now. So I'm going to apologize. It's been a day from hell. And yes, I said it again. Um, yeah, I'm having technical difficulties. Uh, Kelly's in the background having technical difficulties. Uh, so anyway, we're, we're, we're with no, no introduction, no music. However, I don't need an introduction. Um, but no music, no nothing. It's just me for the, the next half an hour. Lucky you out there. So anyway, welcome to BS with Todd. I am Dr. Todd, professor of labelology. And it's been, uh, it's been a very hot week. I don't know where you're at right now, but it's been hotter than hell. Oh, there it goes again. Um, anyway, it's been brutal out here. And so uh, during uh, the time in between shows, uh, let's see, I, I've, uh, I picked up a new uh, barbecue uh, smoker in Arizona a couple months ago, and I had the first opportunities to use it a couple weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bruce, t let me know. Bruce, can you, I, uh, hey, Doc, uh, can you see and hear me, Bruce? Let me know in the comments. Bruce, I'm waiting on you. Sit in your normal meeting. Uh, they... Anyway, so I, I, I hope we're broadcasting out there right now. But, uh, yeah, I did a couple of barbecues for one of our distributors. And I can tell you, it was extremely hot. Uh, but they turned out very well, very well. And we ended up cooking for, well, we, me, we ended up cooking for 120 people, something like that. Anyway, that was fun. Then, yeah, I went to. Uh, the Padres game, uh, another just video was a little pixelated. Then I'll stay still. Yeah, you gotta love this crap. You just, you have to, I have to love this crap. Anyway, I uh, went to a Padre game yesterday. Wesco put on uh, a trade show and I was invited to the trade show. And, and anyway, we had, uh, we had a load of fun, load of fun. So anyway, um, it's good to be with you. Um, we're now doing this once a month and, um, I don't know if I'm losing popularity. All right. The video is kind of pixelated. Santa Maria. Big words today, huh? Well, you know what? I'm going to change. And, and this is a part of the, 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 the deal here. I'm going to change the setting. All right. And I'm going to see if uh the video setting and i'm this is just a nightmare so i'm gonna def definition i'm gonna go standard definition all right and let's see if that helps if it doesn't there ain't a damn thing i can do all right um now it's a good thing that i don't have a guest on today all right it's it's just me and we're gonna talk new app and and uh maybe talk about some new platform for the show, right? Uh, well, the show. Uh, but anyway, um, we're going to talk about uh, our pro label tool and a code email uh, last week about uh, the, what I call the PLT, right? Acronym, but it's for our pro label tool, right? And we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to show you this thing. Now, I've been on, uh, we've had episodes with uh, AEM, Fluke, Softing. And you can see all of our partners behind us, behind me, right? So in the past, we've done uh, Fluke and AEM and uh, Trend uh, Networks and uh, NetAlly. And I'm, I'm missing Softing's uh, test unit back there, but I've showed how utilizing that database that you're going to use in your test unit can also be used um, on a, an older app. All right, now the older app was this guy right here, and let's hope nothing pops up. So let's go ahead and share that screen, and uh, let, let, let's see what happens next. <laughs> oh, oh. It's there somewhere, I think. Yep, it's it's not popping up. I I can see it in the bottom left hand corner. <laughs> and, and just think, I stopped drinking. 
Why? 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 I, can, can everyone see my phone there? I'm going to try resharing here, Kelly, I think. Uh, because I can see it in the, the, the corner, but I can't. I need more bone marrow in a handbasket here. I'm telling you right now. So, then, okay, so I'm going to share it again. Never let them see you sweat. I'm not sweating, cows. I don't sweat. I'm a professional. Wait, now, Cal said he saw the phone. But I didn't see the phone. But you know what? It's me that matters, Cal's, not you. Right? <laughs> so let's try it again. I'm going to share my screen. <laughs> and by the way, I don't, I don't sweat. There's my phone. I can see my phone. So anyway, um, <laughs> thanks, Steve. To be. <laughs> All right. It, it used to be um, I Lincoln Label, which is this guy. And I found a loophole in this to where we can utilize uh, some of these other test parameters like uh, Mr. Uh, Steve. All right. Uh, his his unit. Uh, and by the way, Steve from me, Amazon here, uh, folks, uh, watch his show. It's a great show. He, he comes through clear every time. <laughs> so now all right, we're not going to use that app anymore. All right. So months ago, um, I got to see this app and, you know, there's, there's things that I'll be honest with you. I don't like about the app. I mean, it looks uh, sponge bobbish. Um, you know, it's, it's not really modern, um, but it's a hell of an app. I mean, it, it really is. And we're working on some of, I actually had three pages of asks for the engineers and, and, uh, we're, we're going to relaunch this thing. Uh, in September, but it's available right now. And, and I'm going to be specific to our industry about how to use this app, all right, for what everyone's doing out in the field. You can still use the same database that you're using with AEM or Fluke or Softing or Trend or NetAlly or Sunbird, uh, same same database, all right? Um, and, 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 and we're going to go through that in a minute, but I'm going to run you through the app and this is available right now on, um, the Google play and then uh, the Apple store. But all right. So the whole idea is that I can sit here on my ass and label, I can have the printer sitting over there as long as it's on my phone connects to the printer. All right. And I'm going to do all the work on my phone. And, and I really think that's where labeling is heading down the road, but uh, I'm gonna scroll through this and we're gonna go through some of these deals. But look here, table wrap, flag, self-laminating, heat shrink, base plates, 110 blocks. Yes, we still do 110 blocks out there. And anyone who's ever tried to label a 110 block, uh, it, it really is a pain in the butt, all right? But we make it nice and easy for you. You know, things like safety signage, right? Something like that. And, and the beautiful thing about all the templates is you can augment the templates so if i want to click danger watch this voice recognition bs with todd looky there now i can just i can move this around uh it's really really cool as far as if you're doing fiber out there and you want danger fiber warning signs um, for the electricians out there this all right so you got an electrical panel breaker box and again you can type on something like that you can tap on each one of these individually and you can type in whatever you want we'll tap it type in blah, 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 blah. there you go so it's 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 damn cool so, uh, let's go to asset management Look there. I can move this around. I can change it. You can leave it just sit. Now, QR codes, QR codes. All you have to do is double tap this. You can see that, you know, in characters, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, logistics department, blah, blah, blah. But I can actually come over here and I can change it if I want. So I can type in something like uh, BS. Uh, well, let's just do BS. Change it. So you can augment the barcodes inside here, different codes. And if you want to know the difference, go back to one of my previous episodes uh, and take a look at that. 
you have things like two IDs. And again, we're adding more templates to this. We have others. We do just a simple data matrix or a QR. And those are 2D barcodes. But we have things like code 39, code 128, EAN, you name it. All right. But the coolest thing about everything is done from your hand. And then essentially, you're just going to print it to the printer. So let's start from the beginning as far as our low voltage industry. So you've got a database that you're going to end up putting in the AEM unit. All right, and I say AEM because uh, Steve's on here. All right, but it could be anybody's uh, 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 testing certifying unit uh, is that you're going you're to use a database for that. And hopefully you're going to preload one of these with that database back there. But you, now you're going to take that database. So let's say that I'm out in the field. <laughs> and that, that, that's a long stretch, right? But let's say that I'm out in the field and I'm working remotely um, and I've got my iPhone. And I, so somebody in the office is going to send me a database in an email. And it's going to be that same database that you're using for your certification. Now, it doesn't have to be the certification database. It could be any database as long as it's CSV and very easy to convert an XLSX or SLSEX. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. It's very easy to, to convert that and save it as a CSV. All right. So let's start with something simple like a patch panel. Now, if you all label the patch panel in the past, if you don't have the port spacing, then you have to print test strips and see if you match. That, that, that four pack or six pack or eight pack, all right? And, and, and good luck going to the manufacturer's website because chances are their port spacing isn't on there, all right? So um, right now as it sits, you see these different templates here? They mean nothing. They mean nothing at all. Hell, I didn't know what these are. Uh, nine by six, six, uh, E, N, W, uh, F, right? So anyway, we're going to fix all that, and I'm going to rename these. But what you want to do here is you want to tap on new patch panel. All right, it's going to ask you what the media size is. Most of the media sizes on patch panels is going to be a 3 8 inch, which is your 0.035. Uh, however, if you're using a uh, high density patch panel, we actually have a 964th tape. No more cutting off the top edge and no more cutting off the bottom edge. So again, you can select the size of tape right here. So in this case, it's a 0.35 port spacing. Muy importante. So what we do is, actually, I got one right here. We have a ruler that's included when you buy uh, the PTE 550. This will measure the port spacing within a hundredth of an inch. As I'll come down here and I've measured my, my patch panel. I've determined it's a 0.62. Number of ports, all right? Uh, a modular patch panel, most of the time configuration. For the patch panels that we're used to, it's a six pack. The new high density, it's eight. But let's check. Then you can select a separator. Do you want a tick, a dash, a line, a bowl? Do you want a frame, blah, blah, blah? I just want a, a tick, all right? So I'm going to hit done. It gives me a very little template, as you can see up here. Remember, I selected a six-pack. You can do one of two things now. You can either serialize this patch panel. And what serialization is, is basically putting your first port, a new version of technical difficulties. Today's going to be one of those damn days. I'm going to remind me later. Hopefully, you can still see this. And I'm going to start drinking again. I'm telling you. So anyway, you got this template, this six pack, right? <clears throat> to what I said, serialization is basically taking your first port and telling this app how many ports you're doing. Well, hell, let's just do it. What the hell, right? Uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to new data to serialize, all right? Enter data. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go A01-01. I'm now going to select serialize. Here's the range up here. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to do this, all right? And I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to do, I don't know, let's do uh, 24, done, all right? Name it. 
All right, and, and we're only using one field, but I want to assign the one field to each one of these. All right, and we'll go down the list. Now, the reason for is because if you have a database, all right, F1 there, F1, uh, there's no FU in here, so I'll do an F1. So let's do done. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do this. So anyway, you can either do serialization, right? But what I like to do is let's go and let's, uh, that's all built and I'm going to hit done all right now. I've emailed myself a database. Remember I said that, all right? So I'm going to connect database, select that CSV file. And you can see I've done some softing, some BS labels, blah, blah, blah. Let's just select the uh, BS labels. I like that. There's all my data right there, folks. All right. Everything's right here. So all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to select this. Hey, you know what? No, that, that doesn't have enough data in there. So let's select the CSV file again. I'm going to go to uh, 551 labels. I know there's a bunch of data in there. So here's all my data. All right, all I have to do is where it says rearrange the data layout for your patch panel. Boom, I'm done. All right, hit done. And as you can see, all right, I selected a four port, but now all I have to do is while I'm sitting on my duff, select print. There's your printer I'm going to print to. I want one copy, I want an auto cut. There's a preview of what it looks like down here. Printing from your butt. And it eliminates mistakes and it eliminates you having to sit in the closet and do everything by hand. All right, so now we've got the patch panel done. And uh, so I go back and I'm going to do a cable wrap. Forget these templates right now. Go to new cable wrap. In this case, we're going to do a one inch, 0.94. It's going to ask you your layout. All right, then it's going to ask you. Are you wrapping a certain diameter, an OD? Are you doing a certain circumference? Uh, in this case, we're going to do CAT 6A, all right? We want it to repeat the text. As far as the bottom down here, TIA custom form, forget about it, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit done. I'm going to connect my database. In this case, we'll go to uh, BS Labels 2. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit done. Now, we want to assign the text again because you can pull from different columns. The beautiful thing about this is that if you have multiple columns on that database, when I hit the field button, you're going to get multiple columns that come up. And hit done. There I am. All right. Now I hit the print button. I select the printer. It's going to be one of those days, folks. I think hey, it's got to be why people tune into this. Oh, this is just lovely. Just lovely. So now let's, let's see. Let's see if we can bring that back. Oh, my God. Now you. I'm going to stop sharing. You can't make this crap up. It doesn't recognize my USB cable now. Oh, son of a bitch. The gods are working against me. My dog's going ape crap. This thing isn't working. <sighs> Kelly, let's see if this works again. Hey, honey, can you mix me a gin and tonic? Now, nah, can you hear the horses? The horses are going off. No, I'm just kidding. I don't need a gin and tonic. I'm I'm, I'm alive on the show, but I, I'm telling everyone I need to start drinking again. All right, so let's do this and let's share. And let's see if this crap works. There, Kelly, it's in the background. Can you hear the horses? That's why I'm not retired yet. All right, here we are again. And I'm going to do this. This episode is one for the ages, folks. I've cussed. We've had technical difficulties, and I can't talk worth a crap. Oh, boy. All right. So, anyway, <laughs> you can use a database or serialize for basically anything. Now, I'm getting a little, little something up here. All right. So, again, you can use it for all of this. You know, faceplates is another point of discontention with me. 
when I was out in the field years and years ago, uh, my biggest point of contention was uh, on a faceplate, right? Because the, the, the labels that we printed always seemed a little too long. And of course, on a faceplate, let me set my phone down and see if it disconnects. Didn't disconnect. So uh, anyway, a faceplate, uh, the label is always a little too long. And so you pop out that Desi strip, you lose it on the carpet. That's the first thing that happens. Uh, number two is that you print that label, then the snips come out of your pocket. You have to cut a little off the left and a little off the right, and you got to put it in there. Well, at the end of the night, somebody comes through and basically vacuums up all your profits, cash in the trash. So again, the same exact patch panel ruler, all right? Again, am I in Santa Anita? Uh, no, they make money with horses at Santa Anita. I just lose it. So anyway, up top here, like I was talking about, is your patch panel ruler. But on the bottom, right, is a faceplate ruler. So again, with different manufacturers, those Desi strips uh, can change. But the beautiful thing about this is that you can go ahead and if you hit the new fa uh, faceplate, you're going to select, let's say, a 0.35, right, uh, number of ports. And here you go. All right, one, two, three, four, five. You can do vertical or horizontal because a lot of the face plates now, they go both ways. And you can do vertical or horizontal. But again, you can set up the face plate. Uh, and when I hit the done button, again, I can still select the database off of this. So the whole, or I can serialize. So the whole idea for this is again to basically, especially with this new younger generation coming up through the ranks right now, we're joining the industry. Um, I mean, you know, they've had a phone in their hands since they were three years old, right? And so why not make the arduous task a hell of a lot easier and utilize the app? And again, it's it, everything you can do on uh, the printer, you can now do on the app. So one of the other uh, cool things about this is that in days of yore, it was only the PTE 550W, which is right there. Wait, there? Yeah, it's right here. Anyway, the old app only used to work for the PTE 550W. So now this new app, the Pro Label tool, will work with any Wi Fi enabled printer. So it's going to be the PTE 550W. It's going to be the PTE 800W, which we sell a lot of those for the data centers. It's going to be the PTP 900 series. Again, as long as it's Wi-Fi enabled, this app will work. And so um, I was at that show yesterday, the Wesco show, and um, coming up and, and, and talking to all these people and, and showing the app, and they were going nuts, absolutely nuts. And the beautiful thing about the show is that a lot of the company owners were there and the company owners are my age, you know, uh, 41 ish. And um, they love the idea because it's, it's again, going to uh, pick up productivity. All right. But I'm going to go one step further here. And I know we're running to 1025. One of the things I will be doing very shortly is that, well, I'll just, all right. Instead of measuring the patch panel, what about those templates already in here so you can see i've got comscope i've got some allentel in here i was working with leviton yesterday and we measured some templates and we put them in here the techs coming up love this process so what i do is i say okay if you're a tech out in the field and you're working on the leviton 69586-c48 all right all you have to do is basically tap this all right that comes up, the template comes up. I now connect the database, select CSV file. I'm gonna go into uh, 551 labels. There it is. I'm gonna click this and I'm done. Now I print. It was that damn fast. And I can tell you, uh, it, it, it's easy to use and it is that damn fast. So again, in the future, what we'll be doing is there's gonna be different tabs up there. Steve Cowles with AEM is going to have his tab up there. You're going to see a fluke tab up there, but you're also going to see our connectivity partners up there. So again, whether or not you're using Comscope or Belden or even Panduit, I'm going to approach our competition on this. I ain't scared, right? Uh, their apps can't do this. So anyway, if you're a Panduit user out there, um, you know, you, you might see a tab up here, but the whole idea behind this 
is that uh, the, the these templates are going to be pre-measured, all right? So really no need to use uh, something like this, all right, if you're working on that particular model number. So you're going to see tabs up here, and it's going to make it super easy to have all of their stuff pre-measured and the templates done and to be able to tap on that particular faceplate or patch panel it just makes life so much easier uh, when when you're labeling because really nobody likes to label including myself that's why i sell a lot of this stuff is that i i used to be the guy labeling out there anyway that's the app the app is available right now right um and and again if you need help on it uh, we do have videos out there. You can contact me at any time, all right? Uh, but, the, but that is the app in a whole outside of the partnerships that I've gone through uh, prior, all right, uh, is that if you just have a standalone database or you just want to serialize because it's a small job, this app will do it for you. And it's connected to one of our printers, and then you just hit the damn print button. It really is that easy. Uh, so September at Bixie. Uh, it's going to have a new look. It's going to have a new feel. But I'm telling you, it works like a champ right now. It works like an absolute champ. And it's going to save time and save money. And uh, download it. If you have a PTE-550W, uh, if you have one of our competitors, get rid of our competitors. Get a PTE-550W. Uh, and then I'll walk you through the process. If not, take a look at one of these videos. Uh, specifically, maybe the one today. This is going to be on YouTube. And um, learn how to use it. All right. Uh, no slides today. All right, so uh, <laughs> if you want to contact me, all right, uh, go to one of my previous episodes. Go to the last episode, all right? Uh, if you want to sign up for the Morse code email, these things are becoming wildly popular, believe it or not. We get all these analytics that show, you know, how, we, uh, how many people click on them, how many people just, you know, don't respond, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but these more code emails are all industry centric emails regarding the industry as a whole labeling uh, within the industry, how to label, uh, you know, the, the, the right way, the wrong way, what tapes to use. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So um, if you haven't subscribed, I think I'll put a, a, a link to that a subscription up on LinkedIn very soon. All right. Uh, what else? Uh, the YouTube channel. We normally have a, a QR code up there to uh, subscribe. I've got 21,000 subscribers now, uh, and it's growing. And so if, if you haven't uh, joined uh, my YouTube channel, uh, go to YouTube, type in BS with Todd, and that comes up, all right? Uh, there's a lot of really good information out there, at least I think so, all right? Uh, what else? If you want to contact one of our team members, uh, go to a previous episode. It's got all their information in there. Uh, or contact me. All right. Need some bad advice? I'm your man. All right. Uh, it is now 1030. I, I want to thank you very much uh, for this. Wayne, thank you for uh, tuning in. Uh, and uh, I have some reps out there, including Wayne, uh, that are watching today. Um, th this PLT tool, the Pro Label tool, is going to be uh, a, a huge tool in your bag. Uh, to help our contractor and end user friends out there. So uh, again, any reps out there that have any questions, uh, reach out for a little more in-depth training on this. Oh, here we are. Here we are. So bswithtodd.com too. I guess that's still out there. So you can go to bswithtodd.com. It's got all the episodes, previous episodes. You can go to the YouTube channel. Um, there's my contact information. Uh, thank you, Steve. Uh, uh, and watch, by the way, folks, uh, Steve Kells with AEM has been lurking in the background. Um, he, he's got a great show also. Uh, check out his show. He goes all into his, his testing, and uh, we've talked about labeling, and we've talked about some other things that probably shouldn't have been talked about. But anyway, um, Mr. Jamie Brookover, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Dan Cobb, uh, Mr. Bruce Page. I know he's out there watching. If you want to contact Bruce. Mr. Gene Hench, Hancher, I see you typing, Kelly. Go ahead, type the rest in. This is good. Anyway, Gene Hanchar, exclamation. Man, <laughs> you better be careful what you type. You just type Manif. Anyway, uh, so we got some folks on the MRO side, including Gene Hancher. Uh, he's out there. Uh, so contact him. Uh, Google him. 
Uh, his information is on Google somewhere, I'm sure, or maybe some other websites. But anyway, he's on the manufacturing side. Mr. Craig Robinson, who never watches my show. Uh, I've actually got to jump off this one and get on to a uh, team meeting. Uh, my BS with Todd stuff. If, if you got your phone handy with you, take it out, snap a photo. It'll take you right to my YouTube page. Um, and then uh, what else we got here? Uh, great slideshow this week. Uh, Justin Morse. That's an interesting last name. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't realize there were that many Morses out there. So uh, subscribe to, I can't read that. Upcoming session schedule. Hell, I don't know. Actually, I do know. Stay tuned. We're doing these things once a month uh, now instead of every two weeks. Uh, but anyway, uh, stay tuned. All right. Uh, the next schedule is going to be uh, or the next show's going to be a good one. Hell, they're all good ones. They're all good shows. So check us out online. And uh, thanks for uh, sticking in there through all these uh, technical difficulties. <laughs> and um, it's always fun. It's always fun. Um, have a great week. Stay healthy out there. Stay safe out there. Hey, stay cool. It's going to be a blazer out there today, at least here in uh, Escondido, California. It's going to be a blazer. Uh, so um, anyway, uh, stay cool. And again, any questions, comments, you should bring your brother back. Well, I, I am. I, I promote brother all the time. Uh, and Mr. Morse again. Um, anyway, uh, have yourself. <laughs> A great Thursday. Enough of me. It's all about you out there. It really is. Thank you for tuning in and making this show uh, a great success. So uh, that's all I got. Let's see if we can end this show, uh, uh, you know, gracefully. Anyway, bye.